A question I get a lot is, Jamie, how do you build a game engine? And after I kind of choke a little bit, I am able to gather my composure and, and help the person who asked me that, that building a game engine is no small feat, but it also depends on how sophisticated of an engine you want. Obviously, you're probably not going to sit down and within a year by yourself rewrite the UDK engine or the Unity engine or Crisis or anything like that. Those are very high performance, um, maintained, tested teams of developers working on that kind of thing. So no, you're not going to write that by yourself in any uh, reasonable amount of time. However, it's very possible to build simple engines that can do quite a lot and it's a lot of fun. I think it's very educational. They can range from something that can do just a basic game to full 3D effects with artificial intelligence and scripting languages and those kind of things. Anyway, Building a game engine on that kind of level is very doable. I think it's a lot of fun. You can learn a lot through it. I'm going to present my way of doing it through this series of videos in this playlist. You'll notice the videos. Um, I've, at least for now, on the, this recording date, I'm going to keep all the videos in the same playlist in sequential order, but I will prefix the video title with the section of the engine that we're working on, and I'm sure I will have to adapt and flex as we go. Uh, but anyway, that's the purpose of this playlist. I think it's a lot of fun, very educational, very useful to build your own engine, even though it may not compete with the UDK. You can definitely learn a lot and a lot about the full scope of game industry and become rather qualified to go in and, and apply yourself to any job. So that's the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoyed the blue blank screen in the background. I by no means am going to put on any form of perfection or showmanship. My name is Jamie King. I'm very simple. When I make errors, I'll, I'll say it and don't expect me to be perfect. If you like what you see and you're learning from it, continue to watch and, and hopefully code along and apply the things I'm doing. If you don't like it or you don't like my personality or how I do things, then that's fine. I, I'm not going to be hurt. Go ahead and find a different channel that works for you. I find that beating my head against the wall, I'm able to learn a lot. And I love to experiment or wrestle, as I call it. I like to wrestle with concepts, get a little sweaty with them, um, learn how they go and that kind of thing, get my hands on the keyboard. I think that's very useful educationally. And you'll notice sometimes I, in fact, a lot of times if I hit a build error or a compile error, uh, a runtime error, that kind of thing, I'll show you how I debug that and find that. Uh, you can skip past that part if you like, but I think debugging skills are very useful to learn. And the only way I really learn debugging skills is by watching other people do it and trying to mimic their behavior. I don't think it's something we can be taught directly as well as some other things. Anyway, so welcome to the Game Engine playlist and uh, I hope you learn from it and here we go.